Hiya! Welcome to a new episode of Slow Easy English. So I'm off on a road trip tonight. So we thought we could bring you conversations for at a hotel. When you need to book a hotel, you're usually presented with seven types of rooms. A single room, a room for one person, a twin room, a room for two people with two separate beds, a double room, a room for two people with one double bed, a triple, a room for three guests, usually with three single beds, a quad room, a room with four beds, and a dorm or dormitory, a room with many beds, often bunk beds, rented for different guests. However, these types of rooms are usually found in hostels, but are cheaper than all the ones previously mentioned. I only need a single room, so let's check online. But before I book my hotel, you could help me out by making sure that you're subscribed to Easy English and like the video down below. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, let's find our room online. We'll get better search results if we filter the facilities that I'd like. So, I would like my own parking space, free Wi-Fi, maybe a cancellation policy, just in case I don't get there in time. Ah, forget that. They have a late check-in policy. Maybe we can get a late check-out. Then I can have a nice lie-in. Lastly, I would quite like air conditioning. Hmm. So, because I am booking last minute, my options are looking pretty slim. Oh look! There's one place available. Oh wait. This place looks brilliant. And at 120 pounds a night? Very reasonable price for this area. Booked it. Oh look. I have my confirmation email on my phone. We should be going as the sun is setting. Hello? Hello? <gasps> Hello? Evening, sir. Are you checking in? I am, thank you. I have a reservation under the name Mitch. Ah, yes, of course. Here is your room card. Thank you. If you'd like room service, please call down to reception. Otherwise, continental breakfast is served from 6 a.m. until 11 a.m. Continental breakfast, you say? Mmm, how very cultured. You're in room 
237. Down the corridor, past the abandoned boiler room on the right. Don't go down. Take the lift to the second floor, last room on the right. Good night, sir. Okay, thank you. Before we carry on with this week's episode, if you're looking to improve your English, then we can help you by you joining our membership. If you become an Easy English video member, then we'll send you not only a transcript, but also worksheets, vocabulary lists and audio and video downloads for all of our episodes, including the Slow Easy English series. The way it works is that we transcribe our entire episode word for word and we give it to you in the form of our transcript. From the transcript, we then take the more extensive vocabulary, put it in order and use it as our vocabulary list. We then take more relevant words used in the episode to help create our worksheet, where you have to fill in the blank or find the odd ones out to complete sentences. If you're interested in supporting our work and improving your English, then go to easyenglish.video forward slash membership. Now back to the episode. You'll never leave. Oh, I know. I see you've also been reading the reviews. Well, good night, scary children. Where is it? Ah, there's my room. Automatic doors. Great feature. Oh. My, my, my. Heaven is a place on earth. Let's check out the bathroom. Hmm. Not. Bad. <gasps> I guess they forgot to clean. Someone's only getting 4.5 stars. <sighs> Time to get some sleep. See you in the morning. I hope. Excuse me, sir. All right, I'll have one ticket for the continental breakfast. Oh no, you just serve yourself. Hmm, how European. <laughs> Morning, I would like to check out, please. No problem. How did you sleep, sir? Wonderfully. The sound of the screaming sent me straight to Sleepy Town. However, 
I did ask for a late checkout and the cleaner came whilst I was sleeping. Oh well, lucky for some, huh? And how was the rest of your stay? Fabulous. I'll be here again next time I'm in town, for sure. But sir, don't you remember? You've always been here. Thank you for watching this week's episode. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video below and comment on what scenario you'd like to see next in our series of Slow Easy English. And as always, we'll see you next time. Ta-ra!